so-called bad language is actually good for us. Forget poetry. Swearing is the part of our language with the greatest impact on our emotions. When we hear it or use it, our heart rates rise, our adrenaline begins to flow. As a result, swearing still attracts a lot of disapproval. But science shows that most of our preconceptions about so-called bad language are dead wrong. Far from being alienating, swearing probably helped us work together more effectively as we became a more social species. Chimpanzees and children alike replace biting and hitting with swearing about bodily functions as soon as they're potty trained. Swearing helps us withstand pain, exert more strength and exercise more mental resilience. But it also makes us less rather than more prone to violence. And swearing isn't a sign of a reduced vocabulary. Repeated studies show that people who use a wide range of swear words also use a wide range of other words. And even when swearing's being used in a way that makes us feel uncomfortable, it's important to pay attention to what's being said. Fear of the emotions that lead to swearing does real harm. To people with brain damage, to people with Tourette's syndrome, to people with severe illnesses or chronic stress, who sometimes have no choice over the words that they use. Yes, swearing is strong language, but unless it's specifically used to abuse, I don't think we can call it bad language. It's one of the most powerful linguistic tools that humanity has, and it deserves our respect.